I heard Eckhart Tolle say during an interview, the, the interviewer asked him, how can I just be? How do I begin to do what you do? And Eckhart said, just look, you're sitting outside with your eyes. Look at everything, but don't interpret it. Keep your mind quiet. Allow your eyes to land on each object, but don't analyze anything. Just be. Often when I am sitting outside, I am reminded of the story of Buddha sitting under the Bodhi tree, the tree of awakening. He touches his right hand to the earth and the earth responds, I am your witness. This was the moment of Buddha's supreme enlightenment. Can't hurt to try, right? <laughs> Almost every day, I am walking outside in my yard. I have lots of trees and a beautiful pond to enjoy. There have been times sitting out here when the sun would be shining at an angle, causing diamonds of light to reflect off the top of the pond and the ripples of the water. And I strongly felt that the water wanted to speak a message to me. I have often heard Ascended Masters, Jesus, Archangel Michael, he's an Archangel, but I've heard them say, be playful like a child. And so I really, that is something that I've always naturally done anyway. I dance a lot, I burst out in song a lot about anything. And it does lighten things up. I feel like it raises our frequency when we do that. Today, as I was on my walkabout in my yard, it came to mind that I could make a pattern under the willow oak. And I don't know, I thought of a pinwheel. So I started making a pattern of a pinwheel. Very simple. And the wind was blowing quite hard. And it didn't stay there long. In an hour, it was mostly blown away. But Archangel Gabriel assures me that it is still effective to anchor the light. So I keep doing it.
we have it. There it is. I did seven rows of leaves around the base of this willow oak. And now we're facing the sun, which is awesome. Let me go out a little bit farther so you can see the whole entire base of the tree. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Love is all that matters. I feel like there's seven lines of leaves around the base of this tree. Ah, I was feeling seven sacred flames. But this is just the pattern for today. Here is the tree that I call the fairy tree in my side yard. Early on, I was drawn to it, and then I was, um, I took a fairy workshop with Ashley Cunningham, and she channeled that this was a portal. And then I have since gotten some other information through other practicing mediums about this portal. Mike's here because the uh, landscape guys were running the mower over an exposed root. There it goes. Yeah, so now where it kind of shaved off the top of it. And I thought maybe I can hit it. I, yeah. But those little orange flags help keep the lawnmowers off of it. And I love the moss around the base of the trees. And I put these little gifts out here for the fairies. There we go. A little turtle that says simplify. That my sister gave me before she died. A rock to the gnomes. I made this stepping stone a few years ago. It says, welcome to our gnome. <laughs> you can see the little gnome that's meditating in wise pose. It's here at my front door. I was asked by Archangel Gabriel to create patterns to anchor the light in order to help people access the frequencies of love and light here on earth. Perfect ending to a perfect day.